Hello everyone, this is Lauren from Lauren Strong Counseling and Wellness. As promised, here I am. I'm going to talk about the vagus nerve. Super excited to do that. So I posted a link on the Facebook a few days ago about some of the things that the vagus nerve can impact, which is pretty much every modern day ailment, illness, all of the things. And I wanted to kind of talk about how that plays into the video before before that where I talked about the parasympathetic nervous system because that's all related. So the vagus nerve, if you didn't read the article, is the longest nerve in the body. It starts at your head and works all the way down to your guts. So your guts are all of your intestines, your stomach, your liver, your spleen. So when people say gut health, that's what they mean. Kind of like this series of organs, like these major organs. And because it goes all the way down from the cranial nerves all the way to the gut, it plays a part in all of these systems. One of the systems that is most important when we talk about the vagus nerve is the parasympathetic nervous system. So please refer to the first video where I talked about that. But what I wanted to talk about today, real quick and easy, um, ways that you can stimulate the vagus nerve. So there are a lot. Relaxation is a big one, but like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I mean, I know a few things about it. Doesn't mean I do them all, but I know a few things. But I wanted to talk about a few yogic techniques that I know of. If you do yoga, you probably know about them, so spoiler alert, you're ahead of the game if you're a yogi. Um, you might not know what's happening, so maybe this will put it together for you. But we now know that all these yoga things that I'm talking about are now entering the world of trauma counseling and counseling for anxiety and depression and all of these things that were kind of a little bit more mysterious before. and. Now we have some tools. So probably the easiest one that I know of, if you are somebody that goes to yoga, you've maybe heard of the Ujjayi breath. So this will be old news and you can skip the entire video. <laughs> if you don't know how to do this, super duper easy. You start by inhaling through your nose and then on your exhale, you're going to forcefully make a <sighs> sound. So it might sound like the ocean, it might sound like Darth Vader, I always call it the Darth Vader breath because I'm a nerd. And you're just gonna keep doing that. You'll feel it in the back of your throat. So it's constricting the back of the throat. So that <laughs> sound that you hear is going to still happen, but we're gonna to try to close the mouth. So I don't know if you could hear me. If you can't, I'm really sorry. But you're gonna try it a few times with the mouth open. So inhaling. And then you're gonna try it with the mouth closed. If it doesn't work with the mouth closed, do not worry, it's fine. Just producing that kind of ha or r sound stimulates it. So even somebody that likes to hum, humming can stimulate that too. So maybe you start humming more. <laughs> But that is probably one of the easiest ways I know of. Once you get the feel for it, you can do it anytime, anywhere that you need it. There's really no wrong way to do it. If you're breathing, you're breathing, and you're paying attention to your breath, so that's good. But if you have any questions, or if you give it a try, and you're like, this doesn't make any sense, I don't know if I'm doing it right, feel free to comment below, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, because this is where I also post it, or on my website. Otherwise, go ahead and check out my website. I gave the wrong website in my last video, so that was super cool. It's actually www.laurenstrongcounselingwellness.com. I left off the wellness part, which is kind of important. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to me by phone, email, Facebook, YouTube, I'm everywhere. You can't avoid me. <laughs> so feel free to 
check that out. Shoot me an email, however you want to get a hold of me if you're inter interested in scheduling with me for yoga or counseling. In counseling, I will absolutely work with you on this kind of thing. Go ahead and check on my email or my website. There are contact forms peppered throughout so that you can't get lost without contacting me. All right, until next time, bye.